Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about differentiating e to the x. So I'll timestamp below the different parts of the video uh, and that way you'll be able to skip to the part that you're most interested in. But I think the best place to start is what is the derivative of e to the x? And so e to the x has this special rule where the derivative of it is just equal to the function itself. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Now for A level, you don't actually need to know why this is true, okay? But if you want some understanding, I can give you a reason. And this isn't gonna be what we call a proof, okay? Because it's not what we call mathematically rigorous, but it will maybe give you some more understanding. And so in maths, we can represent things such as e to the x as an infinite sum, which is an infinitely long list of things added together. And so the infinite sum that's equal to e to the x is this. It's one plus x plus x squared over two factorial, plus x cubed over three factorial. And if this list goes on forever, that is equal to e to the x. And so what I'm gonna do is take the derivative of both sides. So I'm gonna take the derivative of e to the x, so like this, and then I'm gonna say that's equal to the derivative of e to the x's infinite sum. So one plus x plus x squared over, well two factorial is just two, plus x cubed over three factorial, which is six, and so on. And so now I'm gonna take the derivative of the right-hand side. And so to do that, we're just gonna take the derivative of each individual term. So the derivative of one is just zero, plus the derivative of x, which is one, plus the derivative of x squared over two, which is x, plus the derivative of x cubed over six, which is x squared over two. And this obviously would continue forever. And you might notice that when we do this, we get an infinite sum, which is actually equal to e to the x like we started out with. And therefore the derivative of e to the x is just gonna be e to the x. So obviously in an exam, they're probably not gonna just ask you to calculate the derivative of e to the x because it's quite easy. You might get something that looks like this. Say y equals three e to the x, okay? And there's a rule that we can use to help us with this. And the rule says that if we have y equals a e to the x, where a is just a number, a constant, then the derivative is exactly the same. It's a e to the x. And so the derivative of that is just gonna be three e to the x. So pretty straightforward. But again, it's not always gonna be that easy. Okay, you could have something that looks like this. So y equals e to the four x, for example. And so to do this, to differentiate this, we have to use the chain rule. And I'll show you a general case in a second, but for this example, what I'm gonna say is let u equal 4x, and then y is gonna equal e to the u. So the derivative of u with respect to x, so du by dx, well, that's just equal to four, and dy by du is just gonna be equal to e to the u. And so because of the chain rule, we can multiply these together, and that will tell us dy by dx. And so we get that's equal to four e to the power of u, and u, like we wrote up here, is just 4x, so we get 4e to the 4x. So let's take a look at a general case here where we've just got some coefficient of x in our power. So say y equals e to the kx. So I'm gonna use the chain rule exactly the same. So we're gonna get u is equal to kx, and y is equal to e to the u. And so the derivative of u with respect to x is just gonna be k, and the derivative of y with respect to u is just e to the u. And so multiplying these together just gives us dy by dx, which is equal to k multiplied by e to the u. And again, u is equal to kx, so we get k multiplied by e to the kx. And so the rule is when we're, we have a coefficient of x in our power and we want the derivative, we can literally just multiply by whatever the coefficient is. So there's even yet another further example that I wanna look at, and this is the final one. And this is if you have a function as your power uh, of your uh, e. So if we have something that looks like this, y equals e to the x squared plus one. Okay, so we have a function as our power. Now to take the derivative of this, we're gonna use the chain rule again. Okay, so we've got u is equal to x squared plus one, and then y is equal to e to the u. So this is getting a bit repetitive, but you know, we get the derivative of u with respect to x is two x, and the derivative of y whoops, with respect to u is e to the u. Multiplying together, we get dy by dx is 2x e to the u, and u is x squared plus one. So what is the general case for this? Well, we'll do the same thing again, so I'll split it in half. And so say we have 
y equals e to some function of x. Okay, there's a rule to help us take these derivatives, and we're going to find it by using the chain rule, like literally everything in this video. So we're going to have u is going to be equal to f of x, and then e, uh, sorry, y is going to be e to the u. So the derivative of u with respect to x is just f dash of x, and the derivative of y with respect to u is just going to be e to the u. And so we get dy by dx is equal to f dash of x e to the f of x, like that. And so that tells us that if we've got some um, e to the power of some function of x, when we take its derivative, we just need to take the derivative of the function and multiply it by whatever we have. So hopefully this video, video was useful. If it was, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and go over there and check out all of my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.